Virtual reality is taking the world by storm, and it goes further than just video games. Virtual reality, or VR companies around the United States, are working to implement the 3D experience into everyday occupations. Ben Mazza, head of product at Pixel VR, explains what VR is. VR is the creation of virtual worlds, or worlds that are created in the computer, or worlds that are created from uh, 360 video capturing, to which you're going to place a user in that world to experience something from that vantage point or from that location. The medical industry is using VR to improve the lives of their patients. Dr. Alex De Silva from University of Michigan is currently using VR for migraine research. Use a HoloLens and brain imaging in the clinical environment to collect data in real time from the brain of the patient. So that's the great thing about augmented reality is that you still have that interaction with the patient and if mm -hmm. you are improve that interaction and have crucial information about what's going on in the patient's brain. But we're not disrupting this interaction, actually make it easier for us to care for the patient, to help the patient, be more precise about diagnosing the problem, but also to target the problem, sometimes direct into the brain. So with time, we, uh, we needed to develop and use something that could help not only care the patient, but also the students to have also this immersive experience about pain. Sean English, a student from University of Detroit Jesuit High School, is familiar with this immersive experience. In April of 2017, Sean had exited his vehicle to assist an accident. While helping the victims, another car hit Sean, causing him to have to amputate his lower right leg. His doctors used virtual reality to design his prosthetic. Well, it wasn't anything used through my eyes. It was my prosthetist size. And it was just like basically an iPad. Did a full scan around it, and then he could move the screen around to see like points of pressure that I could be experiencing, what he needs to look at in the future. So there were a lot of, oh, this right side is going to need some touch or this right side's gonna need some give. I love to see the technology that I'm passionate about using you know, 3D game engines and, and that technology that is traditionally used to entertain and enrich people's lives from kind of a candy sort of way uh, into more of a practical, useful, and uh, long-term beneficial way. When I heard about VR, I was kinda, kinda freaked out. I was like, is this gonna work? Like, it's really crazy, never thought of this. I think that there's always a resistance for something new uh, in the medical uh, or dental field. And uh, step by step, uh, they go from resist, uh, uh, and resistant from, uh, uh, resistance from a, a, a new idea to actually, uh, hey, this is cool. I can use this. It's amazing how, how far we can progress and it definitely gives me hope. If people are figuring this out and teaching people how to walk without even, with, with just putting on a headset, then we need, we could really save lives with this. So I think it's amazing. 